Hey, hey everybody, this is uh, using a Pythagorean identity. You remember the Pythagorean theorem? Uh, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, we're going to uh, put that in with sine and cosine. So how can we use uh, given values of one of the trig functions to calculate the others? All right, so um, uh, so let's go ahead and draw a unit circle with radius 1 centered at the origin of the xy axis. Okay, so there we go. Okay, and then and then draw this angle right here. So here's a positive angle because it goes clockwise, and we're going to call it theta right here. Okay, radius one right here, and it says between zero and ninety. So that's just that's code word quadrant one right there. Okay, and then um, and then let this point P out here, which is X Y, be a point on the outer circle where the angle meets the circle right there. Okay, easy enough. All right, and then now draw a perpendicular line segment from P to the X axis to form a right triangle right there. Okay, do you see our right triangle and Pythagorean theorem coming in? Notice our X and Y lengths. This is X over Y up. So when we use the Pythagorean theorem right here, we get uh, x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared right there, okay? Also, um, um, the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is just y over 1 or y, and similarly, the cosine is x. So that means that the sine of theta uh, equals, um, uh, the, I'm sorry, y equals the sine and x equals the cosine so if we substituted that in right there cosine squared uh, plus sine squared equals one okay and then check this out you guys also notice you guys that the tangent of this angle which is opposite over hypotenuse is y over x which is just the sine of theta over the cosine of theta. So that's where we get tangent equals sine over cosine right there, okay? Now, most of your textbooks write it like this, sine of x, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. I don't care if you write it cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1, but most textbooks write it with a sine squared, okay? All right, so if that's true, then um, if we subtracted cosine squared from both sides, we get this equation. And if we subtracted sine squared from both sides, we get this equation right there and then that means that um, uh, that the sine of x equals and don't forget your plus or minus is plus or minus the square root of the other side and over here the cosine is plus or minus the square root of this side right there all right those are our formulas that we get to know and use right there along with this guy I should have bolded that and put that in blue but I didn't okay so let's find the approximate value of each trig function okay so here we go so we're gonna first start off by using these two guys and then we'll wrap it up by having to come back to this okay so given that the sine of theta is 0.766 where um, theta is between 0 and pi over 2, find the cosine, okay? This is code word right here, quadrant 1 right there, okay? So cosine of theta is this formula right here. So we're just going to plug that in right there. And don't forget, this is quadrant 1. So in quadrant 1, everything is positive, okay? So we're going to deal with um, uh, just the positive. We don't need to worry about the plus or minus. It's just the plus part. So let's just go ahead and plug that in. And when we square that, so let's go ahead and square that and do 1 minus that in our calculator later squared and then square root that so we get uh, the cosine of theta to be about 0.643 okay hopefully that's easy enough all right let's do that again except uh, this time they give us that the cosine of theta is a negative 0.906 and this right here says between pi and 3 pi over 2 all right, this is our little code word quadrant three where everything is negative, so the sign is going to be negative also. Okay, so I'm going to use this formula right here, so the sign, so let's just plug it in. And quadrant three says uh, that the sign is negative, so, so that's why I put this negative right here. So it's the plus or minus, we're going to deal with just the minus part here because it's in quadrant three. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do one minus and then square that. Anything squared is positive, but one minus that. When we do one minus that and then square root that, then we get the sine of theta to be about 0.423, okay? All right, so now uh, let's find the tangent, okay? So given that the cosine is that, where we're, okay, this is between three pi over two and two pi, what quadrant is this in? 
Well, 3 pi over 2 is down here, and 2 pi is up here, so it's in quadrant 4. So cosine is positive, everything else is negative. All students take calculus. Do you remember that? Okay, so recall that the tangent is the sine over cosine, okay? So we need to first find the sine, okay? We know what the cosine is. We need to find the sine first right there. So let's go, um, uh, uh, yeah, it says quadrant three right there. So let's plug it in. The sine is gonna be um, uh, uh, negative because it's in quadrant three, so one minus the cosine squared. So plug that into your calculator and which gives us uh, that the sine of theta is negative 0 0.109. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, uh, substitute that in. So the tangent equals sine over cosine. So it's going to be sine over cosine. So we just plug that in, plug it into your calculator, and we get that. Okay, all right, last one, you guys. Okay, so if the tangent of theta is the sine over cosine, then check this out. If we multiplied both sides by the cosine right here, then we get cosine tangent equals the sine right there. Okay, also you guys, if we if we took this equation right here and we divided both sides by uh, tangent, whoops, this should be a tangent right here. Sorry, that's my mistake right there. This should be a tangent and I'm too far in the video. I don't want to change it. So, so that should be a tangent right there. So please bear with me as I uh, copy and paste when we go along right here. Okay, that should be tangent. Okay, so I, I divided both sides by tangent to get cosine by itself. Okay, all right, so uh, I think I did everything right in the video. If not, dang, I'll have to uh, <laughs> start over. Hopefully I won't. Okay, so given that the tangent of theta is negative uh, 0.2 or 2.327, this says it's between pi over 2 and pi, so this is quadrant 2 right there, okay? Here's pi over 2 up here, here's pi over here, okay? This would be 3 pi over 2, so it's up here in this quadrant right here, so find the values of sine and cosine, okay? So here we go. Uh, let me do some copy and paste in as I'm going along. It'll be all squared away in my, in my uh, class when I start doing this, so... All right, so remember that the sine right here is cosine tangent right here. So uh, I went ahead and plugged in the tangent is negative uh, 2.327. So that's where um, it's cosine times tangent. So we always put the number in front of that. So right there, okay. All right, and then uh, recall sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Let me copy and paste that out of there. So just bear with me. Okay, remember that right there? Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute that in right here. Since the sine squared equals this right here, then we substitute that in for that sine squared right there, okay? So when we do that, uh, we square this and we square the cosine right there. So when we square that negative, it gets us that plus cosine squared right there. Okay, and then um, uh, we need to find uh, our other value right there. So let's keep going. So combine like terms. Okay, this is 1 cosine squared. This is 5.1415 cosine squared. So I added 5.1415 with this 1 and it gave us that right there. Okay. Uh, oops, I forgot to take that little period out. So, okay. Um, and then we're going to divide both sides by the um, 6.415 right there. So when we do that, we get that value right there. Okay, now we're going to square root both sides. And um, when we square root both sides, don't forget your plus or minus. And then we got to realize um, uh, that it's in quadrant, this is quadrant 2. Okay, so quadrant 2 says that cosine is going to be negative, so we're going to just deal with the negative right there. Okay, so um, when we do that, sorry you guys, um, uh, we get that right there, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and get our sine. So we're going to substitute this in right here, okay? So if we plug it in right there, and I'm going to take away this up there. I don't need to worry about that anymore. So there it is right there. I just substituted that value in right there. So we have a negative times a negative. I forgot to put my approximately equal to right there. You see in all my tricks what I'm doing right here. Okay, so when we do that, uh, we get uh, that value right there, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, you guys. Sorry about the copying and pasting. If you're in uh, my class, you're going to take that assignment. Take care.